X-Men reached out to me and said, hey, check out X-Men 2022. And I said, let's do this. You'll find X-Men at xmen.app. Click download and choose the version that's right for you. Then install and launch the app. Let's first talk about free and pro. x mine state on their support page that before you purchase, you're using a free version. What you're downloading is actually an evaluation copy of x mine But you can see in this other article that the evaluation version still has no time limit. So technically, you could evaluate the software for a very long time. You can find the difference between x mine free and pro on their support page. I'll put a link to that in the description. And if you are interested in the pro version, then hang on because I'll be sharing a coupon with a nice discount at the end of this video. Okay, let's quickly check the features before we dive into the software. There are smart color themes, a new hand-drawn style, and a new tree table style. The markers now include updated stickers and illustrations. There are a bunch of professionally designed, ready-to-use templates, and we still get node-level control like in the previous version. I see the good old tools are still here, including relationships, summary, boundary, markers, notes, and labels. You can also attach audio to any node, and the Math Equation feature enables you to present mathematical and chemical formulas. There are themes and styles, color branches, and schemes. Pitch mode creates a presentation from your mind map, and Zen mode essentially gives you a full screen minimalistic environment. The old outliner is still with us and other key features including exporting to a variety of formats, sharing, importing, map shot which is a new feature that enables you to capture any part of your map, and topic link which enables you to build bi-directional links between any two topics. That all looks very cool indeed, but let's dive into the software and see what we get. When you launch the app, you'll see some ready-to-use templates. And I have to say, these are very appealing. Let's try one, shall we? This is good UX design. I can see there's been a lot of attention paid to the color scheme and the font type. I always say, if you're going to work with a tool day in and day out, make sure it's a nice tool. It all helps. Now let's launch a blank mind map so we can see XMind in the raw. This is a vast improvement on XMind 8. Even the raw mind map looks nice, from the color coding to the font type. On the right hand side you have a panel with three tabs, map, pitch and style. You can hide the panel by clicking the format icon in the top right. The first section in the map tab is the option to change the mind map structure, which they're now calling skeleton. Let's see what different skeletons look like. What a strange thing to say. Let's go through the logic charts. the brace maps, the org charts, the tree charts, the timeline styles, the fishbone, never been a fan of the fishbone, the tree table, and the matrix. I have to say I'm super impressed on how clean these structures look. Sorry, skeletons. Personally, I like to work with the logic chart, the organization chart, and the tree chart. Let's continue. I'm going to select the logic chart. I like the first style. Now let's check out the color schemes. We have a colorful tab and a classic tab. The rainbow scheme is the default. You'll see in the pane that there are six styles or variations of the scheme. You can click each one to try them. But here's a power tip. Click the color scheme element to open up the schemes and then simply click a scheme multiple times to go through each style quickly. Let's try all the schemes. <laughs> Now let's try the classic themes. I used to present with mind maps using the default scheme, which is that dull metallic gray. These preset color schemes look far more professional, and there's a scheme for any situation I can think of. There's even a button here that enables you to create your own scheme. And you can change the background of your current scheme without having to compromise on the style. You can also opt out of the multicolor nodes. On the map styles, you can compact your mind map. That's a really well thought out feature. 
The style tab enables you to control the styles at the node level, from the shape, to the fill and length, text attributes, structure, and the branch style. We'll get to the pitch tab in a moment, but first, let's play. I'll close the panel to make more space. The first thing to know is that you can quickly zoom in and out of your mind map by using your tracking pad or your mouse scroll. You can also scroll up and down and left and right. And you can click and drag the central topic to position it wherever you want. Click and drag a node to disconnect it from the main mind map and drop it anywhere you want. You can leave it isolated or make it a child node or drop it back into the main structure. A pet peeve in previous versions of XMind was that if you disconnected a node, it would snap back into the structure if you moved it too close. But I see this is no longer the case. Let's disconnect the node. Click markers and click a symbol to add it to the node. I can change the marker by clicking other markers inside the same category, or I can add a new marker by clicking one from a different category. You can click the marker inside the node and change it or delete it from the pop-up menu. There are two more tabs in the panel. Let's add a business icon. Let's change it for an illustration. To add more nodes, you can click a node, then hit enter on your keyboard as many times as you need. Hit Ctrl Z or Z, however you like to say it, to undo the last action. To add a child node, click a node and hit the tab key as many times as you want. I'm going to hit enter twice to create three subtopics, then tab and then enter again to create a new child with more subtopics. You can click a node and hit the relationship icon at the top to connect it to another node. You can reshape the branch and add a label. You can also right click a node to access a contextual menu with many options. Let's insert a node. Let's duplicate the node. You can also right click the dashboard and access more options. Let's fold all the branches and open them again. Zen mode in the top menu is a pro feature and enables you to access an immersive experience. If you're using the free version, the closest you can get to that is maximizing the window, which still gives you access to the top menu. In the view menu, you have the choice of working on your mind map as an outline if you find that easier, and you can switch to mind map view whenever you want. Pitch mode is another pro feature, and it's a must for business presentations. You can export your mind map to a variety of formats, including SVG. In the free version, you can export only to PNG and PDF. I'll get to the pricing in a moment, but here's what I think. XMind is a mature product. It's 16 years old. I remember upgrading to XMind 8 and thinking that that was the pinnacle. But XMind 2022 really takes things to a new level. The tools and features have gone from strength to strength across the releases, which is expected. The workflow still feels the same. It's smooth and efficient. What's really changed is the experience. The attention to detail and the focus on the user interface shows through and through. I'm actually blown away by this version. Price-wise, the pro version of XMind 2022 is just a touch under $60 a year. There is a monthly plan, which is $5.99 a month. There are discounts for academia and multi-user subscriptions. There's also discounts for governments because they don't tend to have that much money and also enterprise. XMind were kind enough to create a coupon for me to share with you if you're interested in the pro version. I'll put a link to that in the description or you can simply go to XMind's website and use the coupon XMindHoz. Let me know what you think in the comments. Sub and I'll see you in the next video.